Welcome uh, everybody. I'm going to present my master project, how to make a pencil from scratch. And uh, this is the title of my piece, making a pencil, but that's also my Instagram account for the project. And um, when they discovered graphite, discovered graphite in the 15th century in England, they started to using graphite marking sheep and stockings. Um, and the pencil develops over time. So what I made was the modern pencil, who contains of these elements, graphite, clay, wood, wax, and glue. And of course, I started on the, with graphite. And this is me in uh, the south of Norway, in Vegorshei Kommune. And it was really hard to locate a graphite mine because it's not that many of, uh, of them. And this is a, an old mine. It's uh, 100, 150 years old and been closed for many, many years. They don't know that much about the mine at all. But uh, some guy from Kragre thought it was a good idea to start to extract graphite uh, in uh, Vegorshei. And uh, he went pretty bankrupt pretty fast. So this is the mine today, filled with water. Uh, and that's, of course, is a problem when you're going to extract graphite. But it's, you can find graphite in the, the piles around the mine. Because when do you, you have to get to the good graphite, you have to dig up a lot of things. And little pieces comes uh, with it. This is also a picture of uh, the mine. It's seven meters deep because I talked to the guy who owns the land when he allowed me to extract graphite. And he told me that he had taken out all the water a couple of years ago to see how deep it was. It was seven meters. Uh, but luckily I found graphite. This is me uh, for the first time trying to figure out uh, which quality of graphite I need for my pencils. Uh, so I end up bringing a lot home and you can also just take a piece of graphite to draw it. So actually why do we, why make a pencil at all? Um, this is the, the car after I've been there and I was expecting a, a journey through uh, lots of problems and uh, this would be a difficult task, but actually I can just drive the car through the mine and park it <laughs> and fill it up with stuff. And I didn't need the shovels or boots or nothing. Um, but I went to well prepared. And this is the maps that I used. Because the problem was to actually lo locate the mine. Because it's so old. And uh, when I went there, I found out that uh, it was a lot of tiny houses. And the road is called Bryantverksveien. Who means pencils road in Norwegian. So it was pretty easy, uh, actually. And then it was clay. This is me getting clay. I was uh, out uh, swimming this uh, last summer. And there it was, clay. <laughs> so I brought back clay. <laughs> and it would, and it would. And of course, I brought the wrong saw to take down wood. So it was a struggle. But I uh, also did this on uh, a swimming, another swimming trip and taking a nice piece. Uh, most pencils today are made with uh, another type of wood that grows in uh, North America, but this is called pencil tree. Uh, but I can't go to America just to bring home a piece of wood. So I uh, checked out different qualities of wood and I decided to go with this one. It's USP in the region. This is me taking the subway home after carving down my wood. <laughs> of course, taking the elevator to my flat, as an urban lumberjack do. <laughs> and then it was wax. Uh, and I decided to make extract wax from beehives. And when you have beehives, you buy wax and you put it into the beehives and the bees organize it. So they spend their time making honey, but they also need to make a little bit of wax. And this is the wax I um, uh, took for my pencil. It looks like this. And if you don't take it out, all the plates will just stick together and you won't get anything at the, the end of the season. Glue, 
they also always in the documentaries I used to find the recipe to making a pencil. There's all just it's glue. So I decided to make glue out of ricin and mix it with ash. And I'm doing this in the wood, making a, a test. It turns out like this, and it's black, and it's really difficult to work with. So after a long time, time of uh, collecting ricin from different trees, because I wanted to ruin the trees to make uh, this pencil, I decided to make fish glue. So this is me fishing in December in the Oslo Fjord, Oslo Fjord. And I was fishing for four days before I catch any fish. This is me, really happy. And for, in the background, you can see a Sopharni Museum to show start. And this is me making art next to each other. So it's a funny picture. And then come to this part. This preparing and assemble the pencil. Of course, you need to take the, the good graphite out of the, the rocks I brought home. I did it with a knife, just carving out the, the soft pieces, putting it into a uh, mortal, cool, mortal. Uh, and then putting through different uh, layers of ladies' uh, underwear, <laughs> actually, the stockings, <laughs> to make it really, really fine. Uh, and uh, this is not uh, quite uh, fine enough. So this is before probably the, the last uh, stocking. And this is clay. You have to dry it and crush it to get out all the rocks and twigs and stuff like that. And then you have to put it into water, put this water through some kind of cleansing. And uh, on the other side comes, yeah, this is the part who, yeah. The, th the stuff you don't want in your pencil. And then you have this. And you just put it in the sun, and after a while, you make, you have clay. So this is the materials. Graphite and clay. And I mix it together, like this, a little lump. And I put it in, <laughs> this is how I found out to make the pencil lab. Uh, because uh, I'm on a budget, so this was easy available. And then it had to be fired, because the modern pencil is made out of graphite and clay, and you fire it at 900,000 degrees. Mm -hmm. But the problem by when you fire graphite is the oxygen will ruin the graphite and just disappear. So we had to take this out without sealing it. Uh, it would just be fired clay. And this was the big problem with this whole project, because you watch a lot of documentaries and you think, yeah, I'm going to make a pencil, it's going to be great and awesome and everything. And you put it into kiln and you put it out and it's actually nothing. Uh, but after a while, I find a documentary that shows the process of firing and it says like in the last minute, just, and then need to be fired without oxygen. So then I decided to make this box and seal it with clay inside another box. Is that I have a bigger box, and it went okay, because I put the graphite around it, so when the oxygen goes through the clay or in the, through the cracks, it attacks the graphite around the pencil lead. And it was a happy moment after a year or something. And it has to be, the pencil has to be dipped into wax. This is the wax I extracted, and it has to be cleansed in water, who separates the wax uh, from the honey. The honey goes into the water and the wax will float on top. And then you have to put the pencil lead into this bath of wax. So this is my tiny, tiny, tiny pencil bath. The wood, of course, has to be dried and prepared to two tiny planks. And then I, uh, I've been going to, so I'm a student at printmaking drawing, so I used my uh, printmaking skills in woodcut to carve a nice straight line by hand to put in the, the, the pencil. And then this glue. And you need to take the fish, you tweak the heights of the fish, and you take, uh, you boil them. And the water, so the protein from the heights, get into the water and it turns out it look, doesn't look like much but it's a little bit thicker 
than normal water and you dry it, it turns out like this. And this is actually fish glue. And when you're going to use it, you just crush it and add a little bit of water. And then when the water evaporates, you have a strong, nice glue. And that's how it looks like when you have all the parts of making a pencil. So at this state, I'm uh, pretty much in the state where the factory starts to work. You glue it together with the fish glue, like this, overnight. And then you have to carve out the pencil. Of course, I did this by uh, using a little bit of machines, but the last part I did by hand because I only made one pencil and spent a lot, a lot of time on it. And then uh, you are a little bit afraid that uh, something wrong is going to happen. So it was a special moment in uh, the pencil project. And in the end, it turns out like this. Voila! Thank you. And it works. Uh, and you can see it in the side of the in the display, and it took one and a half year to make it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you make a pencil from scratch, actually. And it's been a, a pleasant journey, but uh, also yeah, difficult in a way. So thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>